This is Riverwatch for November 20th, 2020. Delaware environmental officials are extending the public comment period through December 1st on the Diamond State Port Corporation's proposed new container port on the Delaware River. The project will require permits from the state's water and hazardous substance programs, as well as several other permits. The Delaware Riverkeeper Network says the project would be a risk to aquatic species, including the endangered Atlantic sturgeon. The project includes installation and operation of 13 fans on the riverbed that would be a threat to river bottom habitats. Many parks and recreation areas along the Delaware River are experiencing record crowds this year. The natural areas provide an escape from the COVID-19 pandemic. The Lower Delaware Wild and Scenic River Management Council is asking for public input to examine the needs and impacts from the crowds on that section of the river. An online survey is available for the public to use. A virtual town hall to discuss the issue is also being scheduled for November 30th. The Coast Guard and Delaware environmental officials say all the state's beaches have been declared substantially cleared of oil tar balls that began washing up last month. Officials say they are suspending operations but will respond to any other sightings of the tar balls. Crews cleaned up 85 tons of debris. The source of the spill is still under investigation.